the first prophecy is salvation for family begins for the year 2025. Praise the Lord, my beloved ones. Today, a beautiful, most amazing Lord God, Jesus Christ, has come to bless us with another beautiful prophetic word. And the Lord God has come to bless us with uh, seven beautiful prophecies for this month. Hallelujah. As always, I have penned down whatever the Lord God has spoken and blessed us with. I want to bless you all with the same prophecies so that you will know how much he has loved you all. The prophecies for the month of November 2024 are like this. The first prophecy is salvation for family begins for the year 2025. So this month onwards, you will see and you will know in your spirit that the salvation for your beloved ones, your family will be manifesting. And you will see that this month and in the month of December and starting from January, you will say that, yes, your family has been saved. Hallelujah. Glory be to God alone. I know it adds joy to your spirit. Hallelujah. The second prophecy is your complete repentance. Before your family is saved, do you know that you must repent fully? You must have complete repentance. And the love of God says that I see no wrongdoing in you. That's how the great grace will manifest in your life. He will always say, there is nothing wrong in you. There is nothing wrong in you. There is nothing wrong in you. So you will get a chance and an opportunity to live a better life in Christ. Because the Lord desires no punishment, but only mercy for you. Unless and until you are blessed with the mercy of the Lord, how will you prosper? Hallelujah. So because of his mercy and because of his great grace, you will also be blessed with the full repentance. You will repent fully, truly for the godly reasons. Means you will start following the word of God. What does the repentance mean? The repentance means you will not just read and listen the word of God, but you will also start applying it in your day-to-day -day life. You will live the word of God, L-I-V-E, live. You will be the living vessel, hallelujah. The third prophecy for the month of November 2024 is, old is gone, new is coming in the same place. Wherever you are and the location, the family, the workplace, and even your body. So in the same place, in the same mind of yours, in the same soul of yours, where earlier you had the old mindset, old thinkings, the carnal was leading you. Now the Lord God is blessing us all so that you will be led by the Spirit of God, so that you will not be offended, you will not backslide. Old means helplessness, new means fruitfulness, hallelujah. The fourth prophecy is lacking is gone because of peace. This is the month of peace for family, both personal and Christ family. Yes, I always keep on praying for peace in my Christ family because there are so many prayer requests. And I wait upon the Lord so that all your desires shall be answered, the fruitful ones. Those desires which are not carnal but meant for the kingdom of God where you are looking to be fruitful for the God's glory. Those prayers must be answered. And those prayers will be answered, the Lord says yes. The lacking is gone because the peace will come to you. The peace that will change your mindset that surpasses all the understanding of the world. You will know biblical living, not the living which you have learned from the world. Not even from your ancestors, forefather, culture, tradition. It will all go. The mindset of the human will leave you. You will not say that you are a man anymore or a woman anymore. You will say that you are a spirit being and the spirit being lives differently. The spirit being has no fear. Hallelujah. The fifth prophecy is so wonderful. Money barrier will be removed from your mindset. Yes, you always keep saying, I don't have money. Means money is not coming. I don't have money. 
all backsliding and lacking barriers in your mind shall be replaced by faith of God. When you keep saying, I can't do my ministry because I don't have money. I can't go there because I don't have money. I can't obey the Lord because I don't have money. Oh, how can I do that? I don't have money. Even when you know the Lord God is the provider. Hallelujah. You already know in Him there is no lacking. Even then your human mindset, the carnal being adds fear to your thinking, adds fear to your generous giving. If I give, what will I feed myself and my family and my children? So you stop yourself. You don't sow the seed. So all these things shall be removed and faith will be given so that you will be the good sower. You will bear fruit for the kingdom of God. You will sow your first fruits. And holiness comes with this. Money barriers shall be removed. The money barriers which are in your thinking, which are in your thinking only. They are not actual. So this mindset will go. This is also the old mindset where there is fear in the human nature. What will I do if I don't have money? How will I arrange for this trip? How will I pay my bills? So these are to be replaced by only the faith of God. Where the faith of God means the word of God says, I shall not lack. Hallelujah. The sixth prophecy for the month of November 2024 is, Faith shall be increased. This will continue every month. Yes, month after month, year after year, you will see that you are shooting up as the bamboo. Do you know the bamboo, it grows very fast and it will shoot. After five years, it grows speedily. But the Lord God has promised you that you will see the growth in your spiritual life very fast. So faith will grow very fast and it will be year after year, month after month. But for me, it is renewed every day. Hallelujah. Fear shall be replaced by prayer that works, yes. Now the word of God also says that instead of being very careful, instead of being fearful, instead of thinking too much, just pray the prayer with the heart full of thanksgiving. Hallelujah. You must thank the Lord and that's the actual prayer. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the food. Thank you, Lord, for the shelter. Thank you, Lord, for the clothing. Thank you, Lord, I will not lag anything. So this prayer full of thanksgiving is the only prayer that you need instead of being afraid. Instead of showing faithlessness, show some faith in the prayers, hallelujah. And these prayers work, the groaning prayers, they work, hallelujah. The word of God, the Lord God has blessed us with is from Revelation 21 verse 5. I am reading the Amplified Version. It says, And he who is seated on the throne said, See, I make all things new. Also he said, Record this, for these sayings are faithful, accurate, incorruptible, and trustworthy, and true, and genuine. Hallelujah. We have been blessed with such a wonderful word for supporting the seven prophecies for the month of November do like this video, share it with as many people as you can so that they shall also be blessed. And if you are led by the Holy Spirit to this prophetic channel, do subscribe to this channel. And when you are agreeing to the seven prophecies for the month of November this year, it will manifest with your yes and amen in the comment box below. Say, yes, Lord, I agree with these seven prophecies and it will manifest fruitfully in my life for this month. Your confession and your messages in the comment box says it all. It talks about your faith. So you must testify in the comment box. You must talk the faith talks in the comment box below because that's the place where you can give glory to our Lord God, Jesus Christ. All those people who are led by the Holy Spirit for sowing, giving, you can go to the description box of the video and find the details of sowing to PayPal, Western Union, money, Grand Maria money. Hallelujah. Do not miss this opportunity for the glory of the Lord is near. Hallelujah. Lord is my shepherd. I shall not be in want. We thank all those who are honoring the Lord with their wealth and for all the offerings. We bless you with a hundredfold of return. My beloved ones, if you have not yet received our Lord God Jesus Christ, if you have not yet received the Holy Spirit, we shall pray a small prayer because repentance is at hand. 
Uh, Father in heaven, we come into your presence to our Lord Jesus Christ. And today we receive salvation. We receive Holy Spirit into our heart. Oh Lord, forgive us our sins and help us to be born again. We shall seek you, O Lord Jesus Christ, unto Zion. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. My beloved ones, with this small prayer of repentance, your sins are forgiven and you have received Holy Spirit within you. You shall walk the walk of righteousness.